Alrighty, the first thing we're going to talk about is the process of fronting. So processes are like habits, are things like they, they affect a group of sounds instead of one individual sound. So fronting typically affects the sound of K and G. So we, instead of making the K sound K in the back of our mouth, we make the T sound in the front of our mouth, the T. Instead of making the G sound, the G, we make the D sound in the front of our mouth, D. So I would like you to focus on moving that tongue back and really moving it back, kind of pulling it back. And I want you to try to hit the top of your mouth with the back of your tongue. So we're going to go and I want you to focus on that your voice is off to make the K sound. So we're going to go through some words where our K sound is at the beginning of our word. So words like cup, coop, cake, cap, coke. So these are words where our K sound is in the front of our mouth. Now we're going to do a list of words with the K sound in the back of, on the end of words. I'm so sorry. So I misspoke. So you want your K sound in the back of your mouth. We just did words when they're in the front of words. So now we're going to do some more words where they're in the back or the end of words. Duck, knock, neck, bark, beak. Very good. All right. A little trick that we sometimes do in class is to do the H sound the h, before you make the k. So you would say h, cup, h, coop, h, cake. This way your tongue's kind of already move in that direction where we want it to pull back. And then you're going to complete it by making the little explosion with the K sound. All right, next we're going to do the G sound, the g. And that's made the exact same way. We want that tongue to be pulled back, touching the roof of our mouth, the back of it touching the roof of our mouth. But this time, we're going to turn our voice on, so there's going to be a little bit of vibration in our neck. So this is words like gone, gone, gab, gum, give, gap. All right, and so the end of words would be words like mug, dog, tug, dig, and wig. So again, use those words with the H sound if you're having a little trouble getting it back. Move those, use those words with the H sound first. It's a little bit harder with the G than it was with the K because the H it isn't similar to the, isn't similar voicing to the g. So we're going to say g, gap, give, gum, gab, gone. All right, next we're going to talk about the process of fronting. Tune in.